Study with Driti. Tips and Tricks. Hello friends, I am Driti Singh. Today I will explore our solar system. Our solar system. Have you ever looked up into the sky and wondered what was there? Higher than the birds, past the clouds and farer than the moon. A whole host of fascinating objects spin in the outer space. Let's imagine for a moment that we can leave the earth behind and explore the solar system that surrounds it. We call it the solar system because everything in it is centered around the sun and solar means something to do with the sun. The sun is a star just like many of the stars that you can see in the night sky just many times closer to us. Still the sun is very very far away from us almost 93 million miles away. That's why it looks so small even though it is the biggest object in the solar system. In fact the sun makes up more than 99% of the mass in the solar system. If we put all the planets, moons, asteroids, comets and everything else in the solar system together, they would make up less than one quarter of a percent of it. The sun is so big that it is 100 times wider than the earth and if it were a giant jar, you could fit more than 1 million Earths into it. More than that, the sun is what holds the solar system together. Its massive gravity is what keeps the Earth and all the other planets circling around it instead of drifting off into the space. The sun is also what allows us to live on Earth. Without the sun, there would be no heat, there would be no light. Plants could not grow, water would freeze and nothing could survive. The sun is a big ball of gas, mostly hydrogen and helium and it burns at millions of degrees in its center. Now let's leave the sun to explore the planets. The eight planets in their increasing order of distance from the sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They revolve around the sun in definite orbits. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. As it is nearest to the sun, it is extremely hot during the day and extremely cold during the night. The second planet is Venus. It is the hottest and brightest of all planets as it can be seen in the morning and evening it is called as the morning star or evening star the third planet of the solar system is our planet earth nearly 70 percent of the earth's surface is covered with water due to which it is also known as the blue planet it is the only known planet to have life. The fourth planet is Mars. It is also known as the red planet because of the presence of red soil and rocks. The fifth and the largest planet of the solar system is Jupiter. It is so large that it can occupy nearly 1300 Earths into it. The sixth planet is Saturn. It is yellowish in color. It has beautiful rings around it which are made up of ice and dust. The seventh planet is Uranus. A thick layer of gas covers this planet. The eighth planet is Neptune. As this planet is farthest from the sun, cold winds blow here at very high speed. Now you may think I forgot someone. No, I have not. It is Pluto. Pluto was considered as the ninth planet but now it is considered as the dwarf planet 
because it is smaller than any other planet and even smaller than many other moons. Thank you and have a nice day.